Today I'm going to be talking about how to get site links without knowing about schema. In other words, how to get a menu of links in Google search results without knowing a bunch of technical details. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I get site links to show up in Google search results without doing a bunch of crazy stuff having to do with schema and all this other stuff. So let me jump right into it and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here. So I have a bunch of examples pulled up to show you exactly what I mean here. If you search trusted optician NYC on Google, this top result here is a demo website I set up for an optician or an optometry business in New York City. And as you can see here in the search results, there are links to different locations, Brooklyn, the Bronx, Upper Manhattan, and Lower Manhattan. These are different locations in New York. And now, uh, in this search result, I now have one, two, three, four, five links instead of just one link. So someone can quickly navigate to any of these pages on my website. And if I scroll down through the results here, you'll notice uh, my website is the only result on this page with these links. And you can get the same thing for your website. And like I said, this is particularly for uh, those of you who manage your own website because I've done this using a quick builder. And so for those of you who are out there using quick builders, whether you use Wix or uh, Word or uh, Squarespace or, you know, there's dozens of them, GoDaddy, uh, any of these quick builders, um, a lot of people complain because they can't do the technical stuff that you could do with WordPress. But at the same time, you can't expect somebody to spend hours and hours and years learning a whole new platform, a whole new industry, which is web design, when all they want to do is put their business on the internet, right? So here is another example. Um, this one is Row Home Rebuild. I don't have the first result here, but I am on the first page uh, with this website here, rowhomerebuild.com. And again, you'll see the site links here in the results, Row Home Rebuild, Locations, free estimates, contact us. And you'll notice those site links are a little bit different than the ones I showed you a second ago. Uh, before it was different locations. Within New York City, they were hyper-targeted neighborhoods within the city. So that was an example of locations. Here, uh, we have a variety of stuff. We have the uh, name of the business, we have a locations tab, we have estimates and contact us. And um, so another example of this is if you search SEO NYC 2021, Again, I have the top result here for this term on Google, and you can see that there are links again in the menu. And again, I have five links to my website with a YouTube video down beneath. So here for, with the top two results, I have six total links. And if we scroll down once again, um, it looks like I'm the only one on this page that has more than one link. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do here in just a second. Uh, I want to show you one more example, and this is same day car unlock searched on Google here in Baltimore, uh, where I live. And if we come down past the uh, ads and the map pack here, my result is the first of the text results here. And again, this time we only get three, but uh, you can see it's split up between residential services, commercial services, and automotive services. So again, this is for a locksmith business. So um, these are kind of the different sectors of a locksmith business, right? The general ones, residential, commercial, and automotive service. So we'll just click on this website and I want to give you guys a better idea of what's going on here. Um, so when it comes to getting site links, uh, from my experience, Google decides who gets the site links and uh, kind of sets it up. Now there are there is a bunch of stuff you could do with uh, schema if you're into WordPress and doing a bunch of technical stuff. But like I said, if you guys are using quick builders like I do, and uh, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, back in the day, they weren't the best for SEO. Uh, they still might not be, but they're good enough, right? If you just want to make some sales online and save a bunch of time. I like the quick builders and that's why I use them. But what I want you guys to understand here is that um, these links here that it's pulling are it's pulling them straight from my menu. So it mirrors the menu. 
And if you look here on, under services, you'll see these same terms, residential services, commercial services, automotive services. So this is literally just organizing your website the correct way, and then Google will understand it. Um, and I'll show you guys a better idea of what I mean in just a second, but we can click on a couple of these other results here just so you can get the full picture of what I'm talking about. Again, here, if you look at the menu, I have, um, it's popping up with best SEO agency. So that's an adjective, Staten Island SEO, top Manhattan SEO agency and Brooklyn. So we've got a mixture of locations and uh, authority words, top and best in here. And when we click on this, we can see why, because here I have locations and under locations, I've kind of done, uh, I've, I've tricked the uh, site links algorithm, I guess, if you will, into thinking that uh, best SEO agency downtown NYC is one of my locations and the same with top SEO agency Lower East Side. So Lower East Side is a location, but uh, if we look back here, this is not showing Lower East Side. It's not, it doesn't fit. It just shows top Manhattan SEO agency and best SEO agency. And I think that has to do with why I'm ranking for a variety of terms having to do with that. Um, so you could do the same with your website and you don't have to know a bunch of technical stuff to do it. All you need to understand is what Google is looking for when it presents these results. So again, here, row home, rebuild locations, free estimates, contact us. And uh, again, if we click on this, it's just the menu up here. It's as simple as that. You don't need to know anything technical. Um, but what else I want you to understand is that your URLs also play a factor. So um, when I click on this, this is uh, this locations page is slash locations because if this was just slash X Y Z five two nine eight six, how would Google know? How would anybody know uh, what this page is about by the URL? Um, so if we look at any of these, it's going to be the same. Like if I click on this Upper Manhattan link in this one, look, it says Upper Manhattan right here in the URL, as well as uh, the title of my menu tab here. And by matching those two things, that's reinforcing to Google that, hey, this is a page about a location. That location is Upper Manhattan. And uh, that's how it works. So. Um, if you're having trouble getting these type of uh, site links, these extra links in your search results, and you want to try something new, I want to show you guys the website builder I use. And I'll give you a behind the scenes look at, uh, this is the Unlock website, same day Unlock website I was telling you about. And this is how easy it is. So I told you it's about how you structure your menu links. And uh, in this builder I use, it's as simple as there's this, um, menu over here and I can just drag the pages around into the order I want and when I let go you can see it switches the order there and if I want to put this about us page down under services now why would I do that I wouldn't but just uh, to see as, as soon as I drag that there boom it's rearranged my menu for me I don't have to do any uh, technical stuff literally um, the only other thing that you need to know about this within your website builder is like I said uh, when you're setting up the settings on this, so if I click on, uh, oops, going crazy here. I made uh, my mouse bigger, so hopefully you guys can see it, but now it's uh, screwing me up when I click on stuff. But uh, anyways, if I click on edit settings here, you can see the page name, key copying service, and then it's the same in the URL, key-copying-service. And I kind of feel like I'm beating a dead horse uh, saying this stuff and showing you that, look, it's the same word. It's your keyword. It's your keyword. It's your keyword. Um, but this stuff is important and there's a difference between stuffing and uh, being accurate in what you're, the information you're giving Google. So that's what I like to do is uh, keep the page name consistent and you'll notice it's not identical. The page name is key copy and service. Why? Because under services, I don't want a million characters coming here making this menu look all crazy and taking up the whole page. So that's brief. But then under page title, this is more what Google reads and what's going to be seen in search results. So I add a little more detail. Baltimore key copying services. And notice this is services, not service. So that's a variation. So that's giving me two different uh, phrases. Hey, what's up, Chase? Um, 
Thanks for the compliment and the shout out earlier, man. Uh, I appreciate it and love your channel. So if those any of you guys are watching me right now and don't know about Chase Rayner, go check out his YouTube channel. Learned a ton from him. But anyways, as you can see here, I need to. Uh, I only have uh, three meta keywords on this page, so it needs some work. But uh, oh no, there they are. I just didn't scroll down. But uh, anyways, so that about wraps it up as far as my uh, tutorial here. My quick tutorial for scheme uh, site links without schema that's a mouthful um, anyways so that's how I do it those are the kind of results I get and for those of you guys using the quick builders uh, you know I think you can get the same kind of results by following this quick tutorial and those of you guys who aren't using quick builders if you want to check out the one that I use uh, you can visit the link right down below uh, the video here how to rank.com slash software and it will bring you to this page and uh, you just put your email in click the button and you'll get free access to the software I use to build most of my websites I do have some on WordPress and I like to experiment so I'm all over the place but uh, mainly this is what I use to uh, build all these websites that I've showed you guys in this uh, demonstration and you can get free access here it'll let you build three websites that you can keep for uh, either your lifetime or the lifetime of the software company, uh, whichever expires first. So anyways, get your free websites and uh, you can even make online stores and membership sites and sales funnels and uh, do automated email marketing, all kinds of cool stuff with this builder. So uh, if you wanna try and get some site links without knowing a lot of stuff about schema, check it out. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.